Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at a prop replica of the Cross of Coronado that we saw in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So I bought this replica on Amazon. There are different versions of this you can buy and they're different prices. Um, some of them are kind of expensive. This is the $40 one. It's the cheapo special. <laughs> so I just bought the cheap one. It's really light. I have a feeling this is just going to be a really cheap looking thing, but uh, I guess we'll find out once I get it out of there. But I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and I thought maybe I'll just start with the cheap one first. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. I hope that uh, it looks at least halfway decent, but we'll find out. Some of them were made of metal. There was a ex more expensive one that was made of metal, and then um, I think this one's resin. Pretty sure is what this one's made of. So let's take a look see what we got here. Well, at least it's in styrofoam, so that's good. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, well, there it is. Wow. All right. It's got a nice chain. Let's take a look at this. I'm not sure this is actual size. This looks kind of small. It's a little bit small to me definitely very light. It feels almost like it's plastic more than anything. Hmm. All right, let me, uh, let me get it out of this box completely and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so now let's get a closer look at this. Now you may have noticed just before I cut that last segment, one of the beads fell out. <laughs> it's like a little pearlescent looking thing that's supposed to go right up here. So I'm gonna have to glue that back in. But it's nice that they do have these pearlescent looking, you know, pearls. Well, I mean, these look like pearls, but that has more of a, you know, kind of a clearish look to it. There's the top here. Let me pull this out because I know that that's just going to fall out. Now you'll notice on the blue, if I can get the light to reflect on it just right, see that blue area? You can kind of see where they kind of hand painted around the, the hands. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that was applied. It looks like it's just painted on. And then the figure looks really good. Now the original prop in the movie I think was based on an actual cross, but the prop itself was actually a fictitious thing. It, it was just something they made up. The gold looks really good on here. It looks pretty decent. I don't know, it does have a cheap look to it, the blue, blue area especially. If you look at the original prop though, the figure doesn't look very, doesn't look quite right. The pearls look really good on there. I think that looks really nice. Let's take a look at the back here. The back does have a nice gold color. It does have all the writing on here. I'm assuming that's accurate to the original prop. I have a picture of the original, so we'll, uh, we'll look at it. Just trying to see if anything on here looks... I don't know if that's um, Latin or what that is. But uh, yeah, so this is, it feels like a resin. It, I think it definitely is resin. The chain is very nice. It's got a triple chain on it. And I think the original prop had that as well. But uh, yeah, let me glue this pearl back in because that's just driving me nuts not to have that on there. <laughs> so I've shown this book before. It's a fantastic book. It's called From Star Wars to Indiana Jones, The Best of Lucasfilm Archives. I think it came out in 1997, 93. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Um, it's a fantastic book. You can still find these on eBay. They're cheap, and, uh, you know, I thought it'd be more expensive by this time. But it has some fantastic stuff in here. As I've shown, it has uh, uh, special effects models, storyboards, costumes, miniatures that they used in Star Wars. I mean, it has everything in here. And I always enjoy looking at the filming models. That's a full-size 2-1-B uh, medical droid. So yeah, I mean, it's got some really amazing stuff in here. And the pictures are great. I mean, there's a ton of pictures in here. I'm assuming all this stuff is still at the Lucasfilm archives. I would love to go there someday. I've shown that before in my Darth Vader review. Um, so here's where we get into Indiana Jones. Miniature of the plane right there. And let me see where, oh, there it is right there. I was going to say there's a cross Coronado in here. Okay, so there we go. So here you can see the original prop. Um, you know, it has some weathering on it, which I think if I weathered that replica, it might look a little better. 
little more realistic. It looks like they have, I don't know what the original was made of. I think it was made of metal, because if you watch the movie, there's times where River Phoenix has it, and you can hear the chain rattling against it, and it does sound like it's metal. But I think they got the pearls on there looking pretty decent. The figure, I think they did pretty decent on it as well. Um, I'm not sure what that blue area is. It almost looks black in this photo. There's the back of it right there. So uh, I'm assuming, I'll have to see if all the writing matches. I think it probably does. But yeah, it looks pretty decent right there. I don't know how many of these they made. You know they made more than one. This is probably the hero version. I'm sure there was stunt versions that were probably made of rubber or something else so the actors wouldn't get hurt swinging it around or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's not too, not too bad. This is a great book. So yeah, if you want one of these, find them on eBay. That's where you can get them. So there we go. It's a relatively short video. I just wanted to show you that you can find these things. Um, I think the metal one is probably the way to go. It probably is more actual size. I, I really think this is too small compared to the original. Also, I think the metal one has, instead of just this painted blue that you see going on in here, it looks like it's more of like that, uh, I think it's called cloisonne, where it's actually an, an enamel that they pour in there and it just kind of levels itself out. You see them in uh, different kinds of pins and stuff that people wear, and it has more of that cloisonne look. This is definitely just some kind of paint that they put on there. It looks a little more high quality. With it being metal, it would be much heavier. But you know, I mean, this one fits the bill just fine. If you're going to use it for cosplay or something, maybe you're going to dress up at a convention or something. And uh, just looking at the way this was put on, that little chain attachment right there, that's how that looks. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad for the money. I did glue that back in. <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, Cross of Coronado Prop Replica, $40 on Amazon, unless you want to buy the more expensive version, which I think would look nicer if you want it more as a display piece. I would probably go for the nicer looking one. But, uh, you know, this isn't bad. I think it's okay. There's certainly, it, it was going to be, it's, it looks better than I thought it was going to. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd appreciate that as well. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and have a good one.